Hi, I'm Dresden. Hi, my name is Tia. My name's Wyatt. Hi, I'm Gus. Hi, my name is Ava. Hi, I'm Sarah. My name is Emily. Emma. Hi, I'm Angelina. Hi, I'm Ella. Hi, I'm Caitlin. My name is Thomas. Hudson. Shiloh. Hi, I'm Clay. What does it mean to you to be a Trinity Patriot? It means a lot. This is definitely a time in my life that I will remember. I feel like being a Patriot means having integrity and working hard. Be kind to others and to put your best effort into all your classes. To have respect and to be a role model. Whenever you go to Trinity, you're always loved. To me, it means that you're trying to represent God in you at your school. Being a Trinity Patriot means that you're a representation of good in this world. What would you like to tell your chapel buddy? Just be really nice and respect other people. Have fun while you're young, you know? Because like, it does go by quick. Take advantage of being little and just enjoy the little things not be in a hurry whenever you grow up, to enjoy what you have when you're little. Do not rush growing up and to always be nice to everybody. I would just tell them to try to grow in their relationship with God. What advice do you have for next year's eighth graders? Manage your time wisely. Working on your grades this year and keeping up with studying. Keep up with your studying so you don't end up getting behind. Try your best. Make sure to stay out of the drama. Definitely study a lot. Work hard and do all your work and turn things in on time. To listen to your teachers. To be honest with your work. Just to enjoy your last year in middle school. And set a good example for the little kids. I hope that I did a good job with that, but I hope you guys can do a better job. Who inspired you the most at Trinity? Coach Mercer has inspired me the most because he teaches you how to work hard and to achieve your goals. He knows that I can do better and like, he just pushes me. I think either Miss Pogue or Miss Brumley because they always have such good attitudes. Miss Pogue is always like, come to me and ask me if something was going on and I just like that. Hey, my classmate, I saw how much effort they put into the classes and their assignments and it inspired me to do the same. I would say Miss Patton. This year, Miss Patton inspired me the most because she always told us to not let people's words get to you and to always try your best. Coach Stroman, she's really just pushed me to do my best all day, every day. I would say Coach Stroman inspired me the most over my years at Trinity. She always pushes us to be our best. Coach Stroman, because she has pushed me to be a better athlete and encouraged me even when I'm having a hard time. She's really pushed us forward to do our very best on everything that we do. Coach Stroman has really pushed me to do my best since I was like four. Coach Stroman, she just always pushes us to do our best. Coach Stroman, because she always gives us quotes and like encourages us. What's your favorite memory at Trinity? One of my favorite memories was just traveling with the team for sports. Outdoor ed. Probably outdoor ed. I guess outdoor ed. Probably my favorite memory would be fifth grade outdoor ed. One of my favorite memories was going to our fourth grade outdoor ed. The times we've gone to outdoor ed as a class, because it's super fun. Outdoor ed is always full of fun memories with your friends and we're always with them. I would say outdoor ed because of the bus rides. We always had really fun bus rides. And my favorite memories are with my friends, like in the lunchroom and on the playground, because we would always talk and hang out. Our last eighth grade volleyball game was really exciting and it was sad to leave. Going to the corn maze when we were younger. What is your favorite subject? I love all subjects in school. I really like English because I'm a big bookworm. Math. Math because it's easy. Really fun, like solving problems. History or English. My favorite subject is probably history. My favorite subject was history. I really like history a lot. Because we get to learn about all the different battles and what went on. I would probably say history. Ms. Pogue really keeps us engaged during class. Ms. Pogue just really makes it fun. Because it's always fun to learn about Miss Pogue makes it so interesting. Science, if I'm being honest, actually. Um, my favorite subject is science. 
Where's your favorite spot on campus? There are a lot of different places that we've had different kind of memories at and it's just overall like... I like the K-5 classroom because that's where my time at Trinity started. The first grade room. In first grade, I really got to start knowing my friends. Recess. The chapel and gym. So the gym definitely holds the most memories for me. Probably the gym. I've had all my basketball games there and everything. It's the place where I had the most fun. The gym because we've had so many fun memories with all the basketball games and volleyball games and cheering. The cafeteria. My friends and I have had a lot of funny conversations there. The cafeteria. <laughs> I would say the lunchroom. Probably the cafeteria. The lunchroom just because I have so many memories there with my friends. Either the gym or the lunchroom. The cafeteria room because that's where I talk the most with my friends and stuff like that and we just have a lot of fun in there. What will you miss the most? The friendships that I've made here, they build me up. They you know, keep me going and everything. I'm gonna miss the classroom environment at Trinity. It's just it's chill and it's always happy, positive. Everybody in the, in the environment. I'm gonna miss the kind of small aspect of Trinity, just knowing everybody. I'm probably gonna miss the most my friends that I have here at Trinity and just the environment. Probably the environment. The environment around here. Everyone was very welcoming here and I always felt like I had family everywhere. The conversations at the lunchroom because we finally get a break from studying. I would definitely say the people. It feels like family here. Probably cheering on the sideline. The teachers. I'm probably going to miss the teachers most. I've met so many good teachers here and then I won't see them in high school so I'll miss them.